Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Stamping Fun with Donna. I'm Donna, and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. I'm actually not going to be making a card today. Instead, we're going to be talking about the new catalogs. I am so excited about these new catalogs. So if you don't have a catalog, please visit my website at www.stampingfunwithdonna.com. Go to contact and ask me for a catalog, and I'm more than happy to send you one. Also, while we're talking about business, if you like this uh, video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos because it would really help me to be able to bring more videos to you and to reach more people. So let's head over to the stamping table and we'll talk about the new catalogs. So right now we have the new mini catalog, January to June, 2021. I have to tell you, I started stamping in 1998. So it's been 23 years or so. And this, I'm pretty sure is my favorite catalog ever with a whole bunch of my favorite stamp sets and papers, the best designer series papers I've ever seen are in here. So if you like designer series papers, or if you've never tried them, this is the time to look at the mini catalog and see what is being offered. In addition, it is celebration. Celebration is absolutely the best time of the year in Stamping Up because for every $50 of merchandise that you purchase, you get a free celebration set. So there's sets in here, there's papers in here. So we're gonna go over and take a look at some of these as well. So if we open up the celebration just very quickly, I wanna show you, you can get this paper for free. Now, I know that there are a lot of demonstrators out there that buy everything in the catalog and have everything to show you. Unfortunately, I can't afford that. I'm on a budget. I'm sure a lot of you can uh, identify with that and feel the same way. So what I do is I try to spread out my purchases. I do pay attention to sales and I do pay attention to things like celebration, but I don't have everything to show you. So we will go through and I will show you the ones that I do have in person. This is a beautiful set of papers, but it's one that I don't have yet. But if you buy $50 free, you get this set, you get that papers free. Now, these donkeys, are some of my favorites. This is the one that I just couldn't wait to get. <laughs> here is the stamp set and here are some of uh, some things that are made with them. Now my donkeys just came yesterday. So I don't have any samples to show you, but they are completely adorable and I will definitely be using this all the time. And I got it free just by spending $50 worth of merchandise. On this page, we have here this Oso Ombre paper. And I did also just get that yesterday. So here it is to show you. It's really, really cool and interesting paper. Um, and then the back side, let me show you the back side too, are the blues and the greens. And on this side, it looks like Rococo Rose. And I'm gonna grab my glasses and make sure I have the right names. Let's see here. Yep, so it's Grinny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay. And then on this side, there is Rococo Rose and Blackberry Bliss. So this one is the Blackberry Bliss, and this one is the Rococo Rose. It all comes with both the, the circles and with the ombre paper like that, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. And you get 12 of each in four colors. So 48 papers for free because I got $50 worth of stuff. Usually I would get $50 worth of stuff and not get anything free. So this is terrific to use. The next one we I want to show you is this corner bouquet. Now the corner bouquet is coming, but I don't have it yet. So I can't show it to you in real, in real life. But you will be seeing some samples on my website, Stamping Fun with Donna, in a little while using that one. This one here is Heal Your Heart. It has beautiful, beautiful sayings. If you need anything, when somebody's sick, when somebody has passed away when somebody is going through a hard time. That is a lovely set. Um, now each of those and this one you get for free when you spend $50. And this paper here is absolutely beautiful paper. I don't have it yet, but I will. This starts the $100 level. So if you spend $100, you can choose two of the $50 or one of the $100 levels. And I did just get this stamp set. I'm very excited. It 
is a two set step stamp. So you can do the hummingbird and you can stamp inside of it or you can color it. Same thing with the leaves, the flower, and then this beautiful butterfly that I absolutely adore. It's got some beautiful sentiments as well. And I got this free and I love the set. I think this set would have cost me um, more than 20 bucks uh, if I had had to buy it. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. Now on this page, this is the strawberry, uh, the berry blessings. And berry blessings is also free if you spend $100 or more. Now berry blessings, actually, it coordinates with sweet strawberry on page 44. So let's go to page 44. And you see, this has got um, a strawberry builder punch and it's got all these stamps. And then this one comes with this set, which coordinates with this and with these papers. So you get all of that at the $100 level if you spend $100. So if you wanted to buy this set, um, this set is $32, $32.25 if you get it with as a bundle. And then you can get this one for free as long as you've spent a little bit more money and get up to the $100 level. So that is it for the celebration, except that if you host the party and uh, the, the party is at least $300, you get this set for free as well. So I really think celebration is a great time to um, buy some product because you get all this free stuff. So uh, keep that in mind when you're looking at the, at the mini catalog. Now, as I said, this is my favorite mini catalog ever. And it's been 23 years that I've been stamping at this point, which just is kind of crazy, uh, but it has. So I'm going to just show you not everything, but some of it. And again, I'm on a budget, so I don't have everything, but I do have what I do have. I will be able to show you. So we're going to start with page nine with the flowering cactus. And this is such a cute set. Um, I've seen some really nice cards that are done with it. And you can also get it as a product medley, which means that you get papers and stickers and all sorts of things come with it. So that's on page eight and nine. Now, if you go to page 10, this is one of my favorite new suites. I absolutely adore this. There is black and white paper, uh, which is designer series paper. There are these black matte dots, which are absolutely fantastic. There is this um, foil paper and the ribbon, and of course there's a stamp set. And the stamp set and the dies, there's actually two stamp sets and dies here. They make absolutely beautiful projects. I do not have either of those stamp sets, but I do have the designer series paper. So I did want to show you, I've been using it. So some of it is cut up, but this is really great paper on one side there are flowers and on the other side, there's a pattern. And that is true, I think of every single one of these pages. But if you look at it, it's absolutely stunning paper. There's stripes, there's uh, stripes on an angle, there's little fields of flower, and there are polka dots, which I'm hoping to find soon so I can show you because I absolutely adore polka dots. Okay, it's not in here. I was just doing a stamping event and I used a lot of this paper, so that's why I'm having trouble finding it, but here's a piece with the, with the um, polka dots, and I think it's so cute. So I just made a card with it, but I was just at a stamping event. We were doing a mystery stamping, and I used a lot of that paper, and or some of the paper, and this is what we made. Isn't that just adorable? Um, I used the ribbon from the suite, and I used uh, some basic pearls. But here are some of the papers you can see. And I also use, this is Zany Zebras from the main catalog. And here we go, look at that card. Isn't that adorable? And it actually has a gift card holder. So you can give this as a gift card. You will be seeing this one up on my website, but you can see how absolutely beautiful the black and white paper is. I never really thought about using just black and white paper, but if you go to my website, there are a few cards that I've made with black and white, and some of them have touches of pink. So for most of them, I just use the black and white, but it's interesting. 
this paper allows you to color in parts of it if you want. I've seen people color in all of the flowers. I colored in part of the flowers here. Um, I've seen people color in the backgrounds. You can do whatever you want. You can leave it black and white or you can add color to it. And in any way it is, it's absolutely beautiful. So let's go back to the, uh, to the catalog for just a second. These matte black dots, as I mentioned, were beautiful. And this is the paper I was talking about. Now, the next thing I want to point out is on page 17. So page 17, I don't know what it is. We'll find out in just a second. Oh, it's the kangaroos. These make adorable little cards. Uh, you can do baby cards. You can do just hopping by to say hello. So you don't have to do baby cards. Um, but the hearts and the baby here fit into the kangaroo. And if you get the dies with it, it cuts a slit here and then you can just stick it in. It's an absolutely adorable set. Now, the next set I want to show you is Hydrangea Hill. This set is my one of my favorites. It's probably my second favorite. Look at these colors and these cards you can make. I'm going to be showing you how to make some of these cards in upcoming videos, so make sure to come back so that you can see that. But these become 3D flowers if you get the dies and the uh, stamp sets at the same time. So make sure to come back to watch my video on how these become 3D flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous. And here are some pastel uh, dots that, and a beautiful, beautiful ribbon. Let me go ahead and pull out the paper to show you. I just got the paper also yesterday. I got a nice big uh, box of Happy Mail that came to me yesterday, which we always love, right? So this paper is absolutely stunning. There's every paper, of course, at Stampin' Up! has two sides. But look at how beautiful these are. You can do all sorts of things. Now, for this one, for instance, you could just cut it and put this on and put a sentiment and you're done. If you have to rush and do a beautiful card, that's an easy way to do it. Uh, this one here, because it's got some open area, allows you to have this on the bottom and then some stamped images in the middle or something like that. This one right here I want to show you is great to use with the dyes of the hydrangeas. And then this becomes the actual flower part. So these papers are beautiful papers and I highly recommend them. The next one I'm going to show you is on page 23. Hopefully if you have a catalog, you've got it with you, you're following along with me. But if not, like I said, um, you can just watch what I'm doing. You can ask me if you need a catalog, I'll be happy to help you out. Quite Curvy actually was on early release, so it came out a little while ago. But I really like it because in my 23 years of stamping, um, I have never quite seen a set like this that was so curvy. It's so interesting and so different. And, you know, we all have a million stamp sets with flowers, but it's always good to have something that's different. And these make very interesting and different cards than you normally see. Here is one that I did, for instance, and I used the ivy and the uh, birds, and then the rest of it is designer series paper, and I used the word hello from a different stamp set. Um, but you can see the curviness of these cards is very interesting. I've done a bunch of them. You can go back to my website and check. I did want to show you just for a second. Here are the stamps. Uh, this way, I think. No, this way. Here we go. There's the stamps uh, that you get with it. And then here are the dies. And you can see that you can cut out the birds with the dies. You can cut out, this goes with the ivy. This goes with another one of them. Um, here's a little leaf. But I want to show you these because these make very curvy, beautiful um, borders as well. So you can do these on their own. And if you go back to my website and take a look at my blog, you'll see some of the cards I've made just by cutting these and making a very interesting border. So that's quite curvy. The next one I wanna show you is my absolute favorite that, um, no, there's one more before my absolute favorite. This is a favorite, but not my absolute favorite. So this is Dandy Garden, and Dandy Garden comes in a suite, which comes with two different stamp sets, dies for this one and a punch for this one. 
and all of these items, or you can get them separately. What I did is I got this one, which is a Dragonfly Garden, and I use this set all the time. If you check my blog and you check my videos, you'll see I use this one all the time. I did want to show you a couple of cards that I had made with it, and there is a punch that punches out both of these dragonflies, which I use all the time with it. So here's the first one that I made. And you can see that what I did is I stamped the dragonfly on white, and then I stamped it on vellum. I colored them both in and I layered them and I punched them out. And it made this absolutely beautiful dragonfly that's 3D, that's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite things I've ever made. And then this one I made yesterday. It's up on my blog, so you can take a look at it. Um, but you can see that I tried to make it like a swarm of butterflies through a sunset. So it's all kinds of pinks going off the edge here and a swarm of butterflies. And it's up on my website, so you can take a look at how I did it. But I did this one without using any of the dragonfly, just using the butterflies to use it as a different way. This is also that same uh, Blushing Bride metallic ribbon that goes with the True Love um, suite from earlier, but I'm using it on absolutely everything. <laughs> Pink is my favorite color, so I use it as much as I possibly can. So the next one, this is my favorite I have ever seen. This is the Fine Art Floral Suite, and it's absolutely stunning. I mean, you can make such beautiful items, you won't believe it. I have a bunch of them up on my website, so you should take a look at them. I, I actually send my cards out, which is the whole point of making cards. <laughs> Generally, people tend to make cards and then just keep them, and I try to send them out. So I don't have a lot to show you with this. Um, not sure I have any right now. I might have moved them, sent them all out. Uh, but I've made some absolutely beautiful projects. I'm going to show you the paper. Okay, so here is the designer series paper. It is unbelievably beautiful. And again, all you need to do, and what I did with one of these, is cut a piece, put it on the a card front. I put a piece of vellum on top of it. You don't have to. And stamped a sentiment. And it's such a beautiful card. It's one of my favorite cards I've ever made. And it takes no time at all. You can see the backs are more plain. What the Stampin' Up! Um, did for this is they had their artists do actual oil paintings, and then they took the actual oil paintings and they made pictures of them, and then they printed it out on the paper. So you can see that it looks like a beautiful oil painting because that's where it started. And every one of these papers makes the most beautiful cards. It's unbelievable how gorgeous these papers are. Uh, that they have here. That's the one that I made from before. And I wanted to show you something special. So they also are selling this um, acetate that is this gold paper. And it's, it's you only get three uh, pieces in a, in a, oh, I don't want you to see that. That's my secret. <laughs> you, you get three pieces and you can use these just in small areas or on the top of a card, or if you just put this on a piece of van very vanilla by itself and added a sentiment, you have a gorgeous card. But there's something really special, and that is with this one. This one actually matches this piece of designer series paper. And if you do that, you can see how it outlines the flowers underneath. So if you wanted to cut a quarter sheet here and put this on a card and put it, the flower beneath it, that's all you need to do, add a sentiment and you're done and you've got the most beautiful card. I think this is gonna make gorgeous Mother's Day cards, but it could be for anything. This suite also comes with this gold. Now, I haven't used the gold yet, I just got it yesterday. I know that's a sweet theme, but I wanted to get on and to tell you about this stuff right away. So here is this gold, it's absolutely stunning. This amount of gold is going to last you for a really long time. What I would recommend doing, which I have not done yet but will be doing, is to pour this into a larger container because it's going, it's very light and airy and it's going to move around a lot and you're going to use it and then put it back and use it and put some back. So what they're selling with it is this heat and stick powder. 
Now, the heat and stick powder, we used to have it years ago, and then we stopped carrying it, and now it's back with this. You use it with Versamark. So you stamp something in Versamark, you put the powder on as though it's an embossing powder, and you heat it, you heat it up just slightly, just until it's a little bit wet and no longer a powder. And then you can put things on it, and it's a glue. And you can put this on it and then use a brush to rub off the remains. Keep the remains. That's why you need a big container. Um, and this becomes something that gets stuck to the paper. So it's a great, great use with this. Let me put this away before it goes all over the place. And you can create all kinds of accents. So what you can do is you can then use it with your stamps. So you can do it here. What they did here is this is a two-step stamp. And they did this one in the blue. And then they stamped this with Versamark, put the heat and stick powder on, put the gold on, rubbed it off, and you've got it partially stamped in the gold. So it's an absolutely beautiful addition to your stamping uh, room. Next is on page 40 that I wanted to highlight. Now, I also don't have this one yet. It's more of a summary one. Um, I may get it at some point in the future, but I've seen some beautiful projects with it, and I've seen so many people love it that I did want to point out the sand and sea with all these sheet seashells, and it has a beautiful, beautiful embossing folder and also this pearlescent paper. I'm going to be doing something similar to the pearlescent paper in the future, um, but I don't have any of this yet, but I've seen, as I said, absolutely beautiful things. Now, I pointed out already the sweet strawberry on page 44, so we're going to skip over that and go to page 47. This is such a cute set. <laughs> this is on my list for later. This is one of the ones I'm saving so that I don't have to spend all of my money at one time, but I think it makes adorable cards, and I think it's such a cute set. Now, page 48 is the ice cream corner suite. The ice cream corner suite makes such fun cards, and I haven't gotten most of it yet. I haven't yet gotten the set, and I will decide when it becomes more summery whether I want it or not. But what I did get was the paper, because the designer series paper is absolutely adorable. On one side, you can see it's got ice cream, and this would make a really cute card just as a card front. And then if you had the stamp set and the punch to punch out the stuff, you could put it on here, uh, and then that side can make waffle cones. So if you use the punch as a cone, I'll show you here, and you can use that, or you can use this for a masculine card, and it would look absolutely beautiful. Now, I love this. It actually comes in three different colors. Let me see. There's the red and the yellow, and there's also a green, I think, in here somewhere. Uh, there it is, green and blue. It is beautiful. It is reminiscent of melting ice cream, and you could use it for that, but you can use this as well for just about anything else, just for a pretty background. And then the other side has the stripes on this one. It has, is that the polka dots? I think it's the polka dots on this one. Uh, yeah, the polka dots on this one, and this one has that. So they have different backgrounds on the back, but they are beautiful, beautiful, Pa uh, uh, papers and make such gorgeous things by themselves. And then there's such cute things as this um, as well. So that's really, really a fun set to make. Now, a lot of people look at this and go, ah, it's just the ice cream. But I've seen some great things made with this. If you think about it, you can do all sorts of things. Turn it upside down. There's a beer with a birthday heart hat. Sorry, there's also a Mickey Mouse, uh, and you can put a bow on here, and it becomes Minnie Mouse. So there's all sorts of things that you can do with it, and the punch has also cut out this paper, one of the papers. So that's really a fun set, particularly for the summer. Um, and let me see what is next on my list I have from page 50, which is the next page. There we go. Oh, totally on my list. I don't have it yet, but this is such a cute set. Look at that. You can make these into girlfriends. Uh, you can make them into I miss you. You can make them into happy birthday. You can make them into all sorts of things. And they're absolutely adorable little girls that you can color. 
or uh, that you can leave alone. You can cut out the skirts from um, pattern paper. That's what they did here. They stamped the, this part of the girl on a pattern paper and then they cut it out by fussy cutting and then attached it on top of the other one. So there's all sorts of fun things you can do with this as well. Um, next is snail mail. Now I, again, don't have snail mail yet, but um, I may be getting it in the future. The I've seen some really great things, particularly with this paper. You would think I was a really big paper fan. I'm not, usually not such a big paper fan, a DSP fan, um, designer series paper fan, but the papers in here have blown me away. So if you are, uh, they've got the best papers. And if you aren't, this is a good way to start because it does make really fun and special cards very quickly. The next one is going to be, we're almost done. Page 61 is floating and fluttering. Now, floating and fluttering is um, butterflies. And it makes beautiful, beautiful cards, as you can see here. And then finally, I wanted to just uh, mention on page 74 that the mini cut and emboss machine is available now for purchase. It started on January 5th. So it's now available for purchase. It costs um, $60, so it gets you a free celebration set by itself. If you wanted it, people love it. If you want it, it's, you need to know that you can't put anything in there that's bigger than three inches, but it does a great job with smaller things. The last couple things that I wanted to point out to you are the blending brushes. Um, and I didn't put down what page they're on. <laughs> Let me see if I can quickly find where the blending brushes are. There they are. They are on page 70. I knew it was close to here. Okay. So these blending brushes are fabulous. They're so soft and they're so beautiful and they create the most beautiful blended backgrounds. So that's what I used for this one. I used a blending brush and I put it in three different colors. Uh, there's petal pink, Blushing Bride and Calypso Coral. And I just ran it like this in little circles and created this background. They're really great blending brushes um, and they can do a really great job. You get three of them for $12 and they will last you for absolutely always. People are suggesting that you use one for, for each of the color families. So I'm planning to do one. I use one for all the pinks and oranges, one for the greens and blues, one for the neutrals. Um, so, and then you can just rub it on a piece of paper on the side and it gets clean. So those are fabulous. The other thing I don't want you to miss is the, um, painted texture embossing folder, which I've seen in so many different things. It's in one of the suites. I believe it may be my favorite suite, the fine art floral. Let me take a quick look and see if it's here. And uh, I believe it is, but let me read it. Uh, yep, Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. Now hopefully you can see that, but what it does is it creates a background that actually looks like it was painted. So that's it for both the mini catalog and the celebration catalog. Um, as I said, if you don't have the catalogs, please feel free to contact me. You can visit my website um, at www.stampingfunwithdonna.com and you can see um, some of my examples that I've used some of these, some of my samples that I've made with some of these. And I'll be using them more and more over the next six months and hopefully get a few more. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Again, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out as I try to grow my channel. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Bye!